Hey, I've got another Bitsy tip here, and this is something that came from one of my students. Uh, they asked, how can you have it so that you have to collect a bunch of items before a door will unlock? It actually seems like a pretty common thing that you might want to do, and it's not obvious at all how you would make it happen. So I wanted to show that here. If in my case, uh, I've made a demo here where I have to collect a potato and a bucket and a potato peeler if I want that door to unlock. Collecting one or two of them won't do it. So the way I can do it is uh, click on edit down here and then exits and endings. And I'll click this little arrow to open the actual dialog to get more detail about the exits and endings. And then I'll click the little settings button here. And you can see I can add a lock. So this is kind of a shortcut. It uses a variable uh, to, to unlock the door, but it's kind of a shortcut that, you know, locking and unlocking doors is such a common thing. They've added an actual add lock button. So I'm going to click add lock. And what it really does behind the scenes is just makes a dialogue associated with that exit. And within it, there's a branching list. Now you can create your own branching lists. Um, in fact, if I make a new dialogue here, maybe this is a dialogue for a sprite, instead of just saying something, uh, I could say I want to have a branching list. So what does that look like? I click add and choose lists and choose branching lists. It's kind of buried in here, but really this is the most powerful part of Bitsy that you can have some kind of decision making. And this is something that's in every programming language an if then else statement. So the way it works is if the thing that's white here evaluates to true, then it'll do what's here. Otherwise it'll do what's here. So uh, evaluates to true. What does that mean? If we uh, assume that in the white here and whatever is in there will either be true or false. That's really what we're talking about is that it's a Boolean variable. Boolean meaning that it's either true or false. So if I click on that expression, that's called an expression, uh, I can actually, you know, tweak it here or I can click this little calculator and I can make a much more complex maybe expression. But you can see in this case, it's saying if the number of T items in your inventory is equal to one, well, that's, that's true if you have exactly one T item in your inventory. If you have two, it's not true. If you don't have any, it's, it's not true. So that's, that's how this all works. And again, this is, you'd see this in every programming language, an if-then-else statement. So let me go back to the one that I was doing for this uh, exit. And so it's called locked exit one, and it made a branching list automatically for me. So it's almost like a template, right? So it's, a, it's assuming you want a key in inventory and that you're going to set a property called locked into to false if you've got the key or true if you don't have the key. So this this works, it's fine, uh, but the expression isn't quite right. In my case, I don't want to know if there's uh, at least one key, that's what greater than or equal means here. Uh, I want to actually say, is there a potato, a bucket, and a peeler? So it's a little complicated to do in here, even if you click on that edit expression button. So I'm gonna choose show code. And it's a lot simpler to see in my opinion. It says item one, Item one is happens to be the key. And uh, if I wasn't sure what the item numbers were, I could go into the game data and just scroll down to items. You can see item zero here is T. Item one is the key. Uh, and then I've got items two, three, and four, which are the ones that I created, the potato, the peeler, and the bucket. So um, what I want to do is say if the number of potatoes times the number of buckets times the number of peelers is greater than zero. What does this mean? Well, uh, if any of those is a zero, then you know when you multiply anything times zero, it becomes a zero. So if, if any of these, the number of potatoes, the number of buckets, or the number of peelers is zero, that means this expression is going to be false because uh, even if I had 10 potatoes, 10 times one bucket times no peelers, is zero and so it's not equal it's not greater than zero so it would jump down here to where the door is locked so um that is that's it that's really all there is to it is uh, using the multiplication and multiplying the numbers of each of those times each other and then checking to see if it's greater than zero if it is it opens the door so let's try this if i come down here and try and open the door it says it's locked if i get the peeler it's still locked if I get the bucket, it should still be locked. And then finally I get the potato and now it opens. So um, let's look at one more case where I want to get any of these items. So not all of these items, but any of them. Well, that's very simple. All I do is change these to pluses. 
So what does that mean? Uh, if I have zero of all of these, then zero plus zero plus zero is going to equal zero. And that's not greater than zero. So this won't open. But if any of them is one or two or 10, you know, even if the first one is 10, that one's zero and that one's 15, no matter what, it's going to add up to more than zero. And so it'll open the door. So this is also very easy. Um, and especially if you've done the, the first one, you can totally just replace the multiplying with pluses and and that works. Now this, like I said, this is totally, you can just use this same idea in a, um, in a branching list that's in any dialogue. So maybe you have the cat sprite and he'll only talk to you if you've gotten all three of these items. Well, just make a dialogue for it. Instead of having it say, I'm a cat, have it you do a branching list and then set up that same thing that we just did. So hopefully that helps and hopefully it helps you kind of get an idea of how things work in other programming languages. This is a nice introdu introduction to coding really because that if then else statement shows up in any other programming language that you'd approach. Good luck.